They beat Johnny Football in Texas A&M. I just DM'd him. No I've been way. texting with him. What, would you watch his Untold? Uh, yeah. I was. Well, it's really interesting. I have a lot of thoughts about it because I've watched people quit comedy, like quit and yeah. be like, "It's not for me." I can't wrap my head around that. Yeah. I was obs- I'm obsessed with comedy. I'm obsessed with comedy. But I watched him say, you know, I, I never, he never watched any game tape, which is astounding. And like, it was apparent. Yeah. Yeah. And when, and you, I, when you watched him play. Yeah. And in I, the league, at least. Yeah. And I kind of find that fascinating. Like that he, that he was like, yeah, I, I don't want to play for pro football. Yeah. That, I was a guy that had to go the long way. Yeah. You know, I wasn't given anything. So a guy like me, in theory, looks at a guy like him and says that's a complete waste of life and and to see with the mental struggles and everything that he went through i watched the the doc and you know i i I feel better for him yeah but like that whole situation you know i saw him once too i just won a super bowl johnny football big league me big league me i'm like ever since then i was like f johnny football yeah I know what we've you're crossed saying. paths a bunch. We got multiple like friends that are cross pollinated and stuff, yeah. but like, you know, the, it just it confirmed it when you don't watch. Like, there's a lot of people in Ohio, Northeast Ohio. I'm I, I went to school at Kent State. These fucking people love football. These people work nine to fives, working at tire shops. Middle America people, yeah, that have no money. This guy's getting paid millions of dollars, and you're not going to invest one bit of time in for that team that's fucking cheering you on, that loves you. Like, I, I know that's stupid to say. No, no, but- no. It happens in comedy. And I say that when I say, like, I don't think there's anyone. There's probably people that don't know me that don't know this. But, like, I I earned my way into arenas. Like, I worked my yeah. way. I, didn't, I wasn't given it. I wasn't the guy written up in Variety Mag. I mean, now I am. But, like... I was never the top ten comics to watch. I didn't get You're put on up a in sitcom. Variety? I've been written up in everything now, and, but like I did the cover of Spirit magazine. Really, 2015. Oh, no big, no big. Do you have painted fingernails? Painted for toenails? toenails? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My daughter's. Daughter. Yeah, daughter. You will too I, soon. I, 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 you will too soon. I, <laughs> get ready, <laughs> girl, dad to the core. Yeah. And so, and so, like, but I understand that, and I watch comics who get given everything. Who they just are like. I don't know, for whatever reason, they got put in like the, the catbird seat and now and everyone wants them. And then when they get ready to do a Netflix special, they do like, yeah, I did a couple weekends. I got, I'm, I'm going out. I'm doing like a month. Dude, but when I get ready to do a Netflix special, I go out. I start. It's, I mean, the whole thing starts. I won't commit to one until it's 18 months out. But like I, when I'm getting there... It's like eight months of not going home. Yeah. It is. And it's watching tape every night. It is it is breaking down bits, thinking I'm not good enough, going to doing clubs, doing I'm like, I'm on, I am fucking there. So I understand that.